as we celebrate his life and mourn his loss as a nation we must remind ourselves that General Ogola died on duty responding to the cries of women children who suffered at the hands of bandits and cattle rustlers and bad people. And when I discussed this with him, when I came from West Pokot about 10 days ago, the people of West Pokot had asked me, they had five schools that had been closed because of insecurity. And I asked General Logola, what are we going to do? He told me he would reorganize his budget, provide for 30 million shillings, and go himself to supervise the construction of those schools. That is how much General Logola believed in country. And because he passed on on duty, we celebrate his life in a very special way. He was not just the head of our military. He was not just in office. He died on duty, active duty. That speaks volumes of what General Logola is. And so we celebrate him in a very special way. He teaches us many lessons on humility, on professionalism, on commitment to country, And I could see yesterday on the faces of his military colleagues, generals, who ordinarily would be hardcore people, you could see broken souls because they had lost a leader. We have many things to learn from general. Believe in God is one of them. Humility is a big lesson. Commitment to country is a lesson. Professionalism was a great military professional. It's a big lesson. And of course, the commitment he had for the security of our nation. General Logola went to dangerous places. He was in Mogadishu often. He was in Boni many times. He was in many would-be dangerous places. But always he told me, it is the only assurance I can give to our soldiers that what they are doing, even me as their leader, appreciate and identify with them.